Hello, good afternoon and welcome to New Forest Malls. Jared is with me this morning and this afternoon and uh, good news is Electra, our super gravel girl who's four years of age, has given us a clutch today and I thought she would, Jared. She's about five days overdue but uh, the temperature on her uh, heat map was I think was 86 so it was a little bit cooler than, than perhaps it should have been but it's taken longer for her to uh, release those eggs but we'll rather be cautious and have a slightly lower temperature rather than the higher one. So let's go and see if we can get a picture of her on her eggs and uh, then we'll lift the clutch. Now the father, Jared, have a quick, have a quick look at the father. The father actually, here's the clutch guy, is Titus. Unfortunately we lost Titus uh, this year, uh, which is sad. He's a Mojave Ultramel boy. He's produced a lot of our Ultramels and just to give you an idea of um, what he looks like, I've got his son kept as a replacement, which is Nova, who's an identical looking snake. And he's down here. So if I show you Nova, which is one of his sons, you'll see he's going into show at the moment. But that's what you've got. You've got a Mojave Ultramel. And like I say, he's going into shed, Jared. So you're not seeing him at his best. But that's what we've got as the father. And let's have a look at the mother. And we'll see what she's on. How many eggs has she got there, Jared? So that's the clutch card. Jared's done for us. Electra is a super gravel girl and Titus is the Mojave Ultramel which is identical to Nova. Right let's uh, bring her out and see what we've got. There she is. Do you sound a few eggs? Just need to get a picture for the camera. I'd like to get a picture. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring her down, I think, Jared, and actually get the picture with the better lighting. So let's bring her down. There she is. Oh, she's given us quite a nice clutch, Jared, and she's thrown one out as well. So we'll see what's going on there. And you can see her tail around one of the eggs. So this is her first time mama and she looks electrifying doesn't she i love the uh, high she's like a highway i mean the super gravel jared is very similar to highway isn't it a highway is a cross between a gravel and a yellow belly yellow belly but if you put super gravel together you get a similar look but you can see that everything will be guaranteed to be gravel so what's the best we can do here jared um a mojave gravel hit ultramel that's what we're looking for mojave gravel hit ultramel Everything would be gravel. Yeah. Fifty fifty percent should be ultramel. A uh, hit ultramel, you mean? I mean Mojave. Mojave, yeah. And then everything's hit <laughs> ultramel. Right, I've got to just be careful that she doesn't bite me. Uh, so, what do you think, Jared? You just grab around the back. Yeah. She's focused on me at the moment, so. Let's see whether she'll let me take she's got a hell of a lot of eggs though, Jared. It's a big clutch, but she has been four years in the building. Um I just gotta be really careful here. I've got this feeling that she might bite me if I'm not careful. I don't fancy being bitten. <laughs> right girl, just have to get you down into relax mode. Good girl. And then I can take your tail. No, she doesn't like that. Sorry baby, so I've, got to, I've got to do this, sorry about this. I always take them by the tail first, Jared. And then come round and lift them on the other side. And there's a good clutcher there, a clutch, and she's mm. absolutely empty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eggs which is fantastic well done Electra very proud of what you've done here first ever clutch and we'll just drop her in carefully there you go babies have a nice bath and she's given a lot there she was a three kilogram girl um, built her up nicely and you can see just how much they give I mean with nine eggs and they're averaging a hundred and so 100 grams an egg, you're looking at 900 grams. So if she was three, she'd be down to about two, two kilograms, which is still safe, but we'll rebuild her. And then we've got to decide, we probably will need, we can actually spread this in different ways, Joe. We need a bigger clutch, really, don't we? We need a bigger box. So what I'm thinking about doing is we could use box 10. They might squeeze nine in there, if not. If you separate them, you'll be able to do it. If we separate them now, it depends if they are together. So you can see that they haven't been fully calcified. Can you see they're a little bit weak on calcification? Yeah. And I think that's because she needs more calcium. 
is what that tells me. Yeah. But they should be okay. But they are they all nicely stuck. So let's just count yeah. them first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine eggs. That's the rollout. I'll just put that there. And then what I'm gonna do is just get rid of that. I think we're gonna have to there is another idea, Joe. We could move the other clutch, smaller clutch that's in a big, big one. So what I've got here is I've got a small clutch that I've put into. Yesterday we had six eggs, didn't we? So we an eight. So eight. Let's have a little look at eight. See, eight has got. Um, Maybe we can move eight yeah. and use eight. So we move eight into ten. Switch the numbers. So we don't recommend this, but we're jigging around <laughs> if you a have bit. To. I think we're we're going to have to jig it, Jar. So let's just jig this, and we'll just switch the numbers, and we'll get it that way. So <laughs> sorry about this, but this is part of the practical manoeuvring. Everything's hatching so quickly that normally you'd have what you'd normally have is you'd normally have. Um, did I get a picture of the girl on her eggs? I think I did. What did yeah, you? you did. Yeah, get the eggs now. So nine eggs. I'd like to have a picture. That's a good clutch, isn't it? Yeah, but we've got other girls that have got uh, 12 and 19 eggs coming. So <laughs> so I think what we'll do is see whether we can move those other eggs into here, move them across. Mm -hmm. Now, it really depends on It'll fit. whether they'll fit in there without actually touching. I could take one of these off, Jared, to get it lower. No, I wouldn't because there's all of the. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it will fit. This is quite a small clutch, so if she does, we'll move the numbers across. And but we've got eggs coming. So another nine takes us to fifty. What do we have? Forty-six plus nine is fifty-five eggs, Jared. Yeah, that will fit nice. Now this actually wants us to show Jared. He hasn't seen this. This is the one that has the joined eggs that we need to work oh, out. Oh, that's that's nothing. You that's sure? not an actual join, no, that's just, you know when you tear eggs apart? Yeah, are you, you sure? Like, yeah, yeah. you sure it's that? Yeah. Okay, alright. Anyway, we'll move these across, so... Just do this it's like when you part, move an egg. Very carefully. And then, if I put them in... Yeah, that should be alright. I think, Jared, it's too high, so what I've got to do here... And I think we'll be okay if we can do this. This is what we need to do. Take, take, take that, that off. off. And then, and then if you I know take just this one up. Okay. Use, use, use the other one. Okay. And put it on that. Okay. Justin Kabelka puts his straight into the vermiculite. Yeah, if you measure it properly. Yeah. So I think we'll be okay. I just think that we've got to make sure that we get them. I might have to take that egg off, you see, if it's not going to shut. But let's see whether it will work. It's going to be close. It might just hit the top. Yeah, it's touching. Is that good or bad news? It's bad. So, I think I, what we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to, if I can, I hope I don't disturb it too much. No, I don't want to do that. So, i just got to think. I think what we can do is we can actually push this down deeper, Jared. Mm, you just don't want the vermiculite to touch the eggs. Yeah. So I do think that uh, they will fit in, but... I know Rob says that there's not normally a problem if it touches. He's, he's had them touched before and he said it's normally okay. Surely the water that comes on the top there will touch it. Yeah, but he's. I don't think they're easy to separate. What I'm saying, Jared, is if I were, was to try and separate them now, they've already got really firm. So I think what I want to do, this is what I think I'm going to do, is I can actually take some of the vermiculite out, or I can just push this down a bit deeper. Like that. Okay, and then we'll just try to rest them on top. I think it's okay for them to have a little bit, Jad. What clutch is clutch eight? So clutch eight, um, you have to check the clutch cards over there to see what they they are. But I think it's the um, it's the lesser clown to the pastel cine head clown. Yeah. See if that will go now. That's better. Oh, that's not touching now. So just by pushing that down a little bit, we've got away with that. 
Good. Let's get them back on heat. I'm going to change the number. So we'll change the number. Let's change it to eight. Just scribble it on eight. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay. All right, then eight and ten. <laughs> I've got... No, I can just peel them off, Jared. Just hold that for me. I'll peel it off. Because I think it's... They're, pe they're very easy to peel. I made them. Oh no, you're right. They're yeah, not very easy to build. Okay, let's change it. Sorry. Jared knows best. <laughs> so this is number eight. And I'll get rid of that one. So just remember that's number eight. And then this one we're going to make number ten. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then we just get rid of that bit there. There we go. Right, okay, so this is good now. So, what we need to do is put these back in now, Jared. And then we'll put those eggs in there. And then we should be there. So I think we've solved that problem. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, the, the things that we have to think about. But it's good, I think it's all good stuff. So They're on the top, those back. ones. So those on the top, are they? Yeah. So we'll put those on the top, number eight. And then that's, for the little, any little clutches, we've got two little ones there. And then that's good. I think we're all good there. Right, we'll let the temp build up again. Now, so we need to candle these, Jared. Uh, but let's get them into the right situation first of all. So let's say that we keep all of these together. Yeah, there's two that are loose. So if you just add so those on at the end, keep let's, them. Let's let's um. I put the main clutch in, and then yeah, put those in. let's just put those there a second. I don't want them to. Just I want to keep the orientation where they are. And then if we lift these, I want them to stay together if possible. So which is good. She's only just laid these, so you can see that they're God, they're so heavy, Jared. So heavy. I mean they're actually coming apart too much here. They're not actually stuck yet. I mean they've only just been laid. But we'll put those in there. I mean they're coming apart. These would be very easy to separate, by the way, so we can get all these in absolutely comfortably. And then I think we put one there, and we put one there, and then can you help me stake them out, Chad? Stake them out. We're going to need to put one on this side. I can do that one if you could. Let me okay. Okay, you do it. I'll just hold it there. And then we need some of the back here to hold these up. Yeah. Is that away from the side there? Can yeah. You can move it a little bit. There's a bit of wiggle room there. But I'm going to have to just try to get these lined up. So that's that one. I'm glad I've got plenty of straws and I think I want to be able to keep these pretty much together and supported. Can we get the light? If you hit the light, we'll do the candle. Last one, I'm going to give this just a little bit of extra support because this is the one that I think was rolled out. And I think we're going to be okay. I think these these larger ones, Jad, I think they're capable of they're capable of um, taking probably up to I'd say probably another two. You could probably get twelve in there. Yeah. They're so big. So this is going to be the interesting thing is. Uh, have we got some nice veins? That's the question. So I'm hoping that we have, but there's nothing. Nothing's guaranteed. So you got to push it against the egg. Okay. Can you see? Oh, veins on that one. Yes. You see veins? Yep. Healthy. Mm -hmm. That one healthy. You are like. Go closer. Yeah. Healthy. That one. Veins. Mm -hmm. That one veins. That one's got veins, veins, veins. You see veins on these two? Yep. Yeah, what about that one? Yeah. So she rolled it out, but she, so we've got nine healthy eggs there. <laughs> so I think we've got a result there, Jared. Thank <laughs> no slugs, which is wonderful. That is a result. I think we've uh, got guaranteed gravel going into the uh, Het Ultramel and a lot of these are going to be available. We're going to be selling quite a few of these jads. So if anybody's interested in, we want to count our eggs before they're our snake before they're hatched. But I think that is fantastic news, Jad. What a lovely clutch! 
really, really happy with that. So absolutely delighted. So the gravel goes into the Ultramel gene. I haven't seen a lot of Ultramel uh, gravels, Jared, but uh, that is a very heavy clutch, by the way. I mean, yeah. it's really big and heavy. I can feel it. They're very weighty, but she has done really well. So clutch number 10 has arrived. Let's just slip those back. Beautiful. So all looking good. Let's just check to make sure she's doing okay. There she is. Look how thin she is, Jared. She's given a lot. She hasn't she given us a lot yeah. there? But absolutely fantastic. So thank you, Jared, for helping out. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed that. So we've got nine eggs. That takes us to 55 eggs to date. And there's still other girls to go. So we'll keep you posted on how things develop. Thank you for your love and support. And we shall see you next time. Bye-bye for now.